What's up? What's up, people? This is me, the one and only. Well, you already fucking know who I am. <laughs> Let's stop the bullshit. This is me, K Solo. You already know. Yo, listen. Uh, a couple people already been um, hollering at me uh, to let them know what's the difference between Rikers and Upstate. All right, so I had like about. Jesus, like about, about nine, no, bullshit, like about 15 to 20 people asking me this question. And also, people that I know in the streets are also asking me these questions. You know what I'm saying? Tell me I should put it up. And I thought about it, because, you know, they write. You know, um, it's, it's, you know, put it to you like this. The first time I went upstate, this was in, uh, 88. I went to Amira. From Amira, I stood there in Amira like for about a fucking month. Fucking locked in there. Yo, it's crazy, son. Anyway, I was in Amira for about a month. And after that, I was where they took me at the Amira. At the Amira. Where did I go? Oh, yeah. At the Amira, I went to New Orleans. New Orleans Correctional Facility. Uh, the only good thing about New Orleans, son, is that we had the woman's jail. There, there was a woman's jail. Albion, I think it was Albion, right, 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 right there, right there. I mean, you can see the girls when they walk. I mean, you can catch a ticket, big time ticket. If they catch you speaking to them or whatever the fuck. But back in that days, it was not so hard. So I remember, I was short. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what I got the first time? Hold up, hold up. I believe the first time I went to stay was in one and a half to three. Yeah, yeah, it was a one and a half to three. And at one and a half to three, I did motherfucking 14 months. I did 14 months in the island. And believe it or not, son, I was sentenced for 13 fucking months. 13 months waiting to go to the island. I swear to God, I swear to everything I love. All right, the difference between Rikers Island and Upstate. Yo, it's like night and day. Big fucking difference. Put it to you like this, all right? When I got to Upstate, then I went to Amira. It was kind of sad because, because, you know, it was my first time going to State and going to a, um, a Max. And I was like, wow, this shit is really, really, really like the fucking movies. I swear to God, yo. Anyway, they put me and like about nine others in uh, reception. Reception is like for New Jacks, you know what I'm saying? They throw you in this little cells, like West Bubble somewhere, lost. I know my cell was the one, the last one to the corner where the stairs, they had stairs, and once you come up the stairs, my cell was right there. Yo, and let me tell you, these fucking cells are big, yo, bigger than fucking Rikers, all right? No, no bullshit. Uh, these old Maxes, not the new shits that they got, the new shits they got with the shower in your cell and everything, that's some bullshit. But now, they got motherfucking these motherfucking cells that was back in the days, you mongus kid. That was yo. When I got in there, be I was like, wow, these is big fucking cells, and I'm claustrophobic, so I get you know, that claustrophobic attack. I can't be around a lot of people, and now I start sweating. You know, shit start going crazy for me. But anyway, um, yo, excuse me for not seeing my eyes too much. It's that that's the way I like it. You feeling me? I always keep my hat like that, even when I'm in the streets. Anyway, yo, when I went to a state, I remember I was starving, starving. Yo, back in that day, back in those days, you could take cigarettes with you. Whatever cigarettes you had, you could take with you. I took like 30 packs of Newports with me because, you know, thank God, I went to state on a Monday. That Sunday, I had a visit. Wifey, my ex-wifey, God rest his, I mean, God, you hear me, I'm about to say God rest his soul. God bless her. Yo, she hit me with three loonies. 
every week, every fucking week, from 88 all the way to, let me see, from August 27th, the day I got locked up, August 27th of 1988, all the way to 1989, uh, September or October, some shit like that. So, anyway, that, that day, that Sunday, I don't know, I felt strange. So, that day, you know, I'm the type of dude that in the visiting room, you be seeing dudes slobbing their wife. Mwah, 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 mwah. I mean, they be playing with their with they wives, touching their pussies and all that shit, touching their tits. Yo, that's not for me, kid. You know why? Why should I? Make up with my wife, play with her pussy. Let's keep it fishing. We're not we're not fucking little kids. Playing with her pussy, playing with her tits, and after that, she gets up to go home to leave. Now, I always, I always, always used to follow this and say to myself, "Why the fuck I'm gonna go and get my wife horny, get her crazy hot?" She ain't getting no dick anyway. You know what I'm saying? And if she's smart, she, she will play. I don't mind my wife play with herself, being fuck it. You know what I'm saying? As long as I know it's her. And if I have to buy her a fucking dildo, I'll buy her the fucking dildo. Keeping it real. Long as ain't nobody fucking that, I'm good. You feeling me? So, mommy, if you want to play with your dildo, play with your... As a matter of fact, call your dildo solo. You feeling me? <laughs> I'm dead serious, yo. I ain't fucking lying. You know? It's better than a motherfucker going in there than a fucking plastic. I'll take that all day. Anyway. Hold up. Anyway. Let me tell you. When I got up to go to breakfast, this is what blew me up. When I went to breakfast, son, it was like a big man saw something like Rikers Island, you know, but a little, a little better, a little better, and the food, Jesus Christ, a thousand times better than Rikers, yo, a fucking thousand times, bro. You know what it is, my brother, that they give you a fucking fried chicken, all that good shit, big ass cup of Kool-Aid. It's not like Rikers Island; they give you like a nine and a half a cup of Kool-Aid. So. You know, she was different. Anyway, I stood there for about a month. That's the first time I ever saw a CO with a baby tattooed to his arm, a black baby, hanging. I swear to God, swear to my mother's grave, I seen one CO that had a baby and the baby had a rope around the neck and the baby was black. I seen another another CO with a cross right in his arm with a black man. A serious kid with a black man. You know how they how they took Jesus and they and they and they put the nails on him? No, this was no nails. They put knives like in his arm, like like you can see, big ass knife in one arm, big ass knife in the other arm. That's how they stuck him to the wood with a knife. You know, that's how they had, that's how it was the tattoo. And it was a black man. I'm telling you, son, when I fucking saw that, I was like, yo, I'm really upstate now, bro. I'm in KKK town, B. I swear to God, I'm in KKK town. All right? Nothing for motherfucking races talking about redneck for real. And yo, and, and, and back in 88, 89, they had mad white COs. Very few black COs. Very few. Now, now, they got mad black COs. Worried up. Now they got mad black COs. And that's good. You feel me? Regardless, they COs or whatever. But they black. And you got a lot of Spanish COs too. But the only thing when I get tagged with the Spanish COs, that some of these motherfuckers... They don't want to talk Spanish. Nah, don't talk to me Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I'm like, motherfucker, you Puerto Rican, nigga. Uh, you talk to me like that, you go on the box. Yeah, I'm serious, kid. Anyway, when I left Amira, 
I went to New Orleans. New Orleans Correctional Facility. Alright? That's that's like eight hours away from New York. Listen to this. When I went to the dorm, first of all, when I got there, they had us sleeping in the gym. I swear to God, there was a big ass building. They empty out the gym and they put mad beds there. Mad beds in the gym. So New Orleans didn't have a gym. I was there for like two months. Let me see. I had 14, 15. By the time I got to New Orleans, I had 15 months. I had three months left to do. So once I got to New Orleans, I think the following week, parole was coming in. Parole was coming. So, you know, I got to see parole. And let me tell you, man, I was scared to death because I didn't have no time of state. And niggas kept telling me, yo, you don't got no time. You don't got no, no nothing, no program, no nothing. They're going to probably hit you, kid. They're probably going to max you out. You feeling me? So I'm like, what the fuck? Who's name my fault? But anyway, talking about the difference between upstate and Rikers, like I said, my brother, it's a big fucking difference. All right? Let me tell you. When I went to New Orleans mess hall, son, I swear to God, I thought I was in a fucking restaurant. That's how I looked it. Little tables, four men for every table. Four men for every table. Yo, we was in tables. You could get up and tell the CEO, yo, listen, man, I need some more water or we need some more juice. So what they did, they got like a little, like a little canister where you can put some water in there. You know, you got the guys that work there that they fill up, put some ice, they put ice in there and they give you ice cold water. Or they give you another, they give you that and a pitch of, of juice. So, right there, that fucked me up. And the juice was banging. Boom, that's one. The fucking fool. Son, a thousand times. Once again, a thousand times better than fucking Rikers Island. Yo, that day, they gave us fried chicken. Fried chicken with french fries. My God. Yo, I felt like I was in New York for a couple minutes, bro. After that, for dessert, it was blueberry pie. Blueberry pie, my favorite. Son. Also, this is the biggest shit that I was, I was like, yo, they give you a fucking butter knife, metal, a fork, and a spoon. Metal, okay? Metal, no plastic, metal. Yo, I was like, a motherfucker want right now, he can stab a nigga with his fork. And a nigga want right now, he can stab a nigga with the, with, the, with the butter knife. That's how it was, kid. I mean, like I said, it was like a fucking New York City restaurant. And even cleaner. I'm serious, I'm not lying to you, son. All right? Yo, and another thing. The commissary is every two weeks. Everybody know, people that have been upstate, they know. It's every two weeks. But if you got a little cash in there, well, the shit is much cheaper than right design. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I remember when I went uh, on my third on my third bid, I went to stay. I went to Collins. Uh, when I got there, I remember the cigarettes pack of Newports was one eighty three. Yeah, one dollar and eighty three cents. When I left from Collins to come home, the cigarettes went up to five bucks. So, four years, the cigarettes went up to five dollars. Alright? That's not bad. As a matter of fact, not even five dollars. It was four thirty-two. Four dollars and thirty-two cents. Okay? That's how much the cigarettes went up to. Now, you also had, if you didn't have no money like that, you also had the road ridge, the, bro, the roadies. You know, after a while, you get used to them, bro. So I used to have like about 50 packs of those shits. Um, like I told you, I went on state like 30 packs of Newports. By the time I got to my spot, I had like 15 packs left. You know what I'm saying? So I went on state, I went to my jail with 15 packs of Newports. And then after that, son, the packages. Oh my God. 35 pounds of packages, son. 
Let me tell you, wifey sent me, I was there like for two weeks. Two weeks, I got my package. I got my fucking thermos. And I'm saying to myself, why is she buying me? Well, I didn't know I was going home. But she bought me thermos. And I said, why, why she bought me thermos? Two sweatsuits. A brand new pair. Uh, what the fuck? That was in 89. 89. A, a pair of Adidas. No, no, no. Bullshit. Re, uh, what the fuck was it? I think it was Reeboks. That was the style back in 88, 89. And Adidas. But she bought me a pair of Reeboks, white on white. So I'm saying to myself, yo, I got two sweatsuits, I got long johns, I got a pair of brand new sneakers, I got socks, underwear, I got the whole shit. I'm, I'm, you know, wifey took care of me, bro. Sent me my clothes package, what I needed, my sheets, all that. All that. I had the red sheets. Red sheets, red blanket, red pillowcase. And that time, they didn't have no blood. Feel me? There was no blood. And yes, they had kings. Because that's where I became... You know what already. I damn, I blew it up. I didn't want to say that. But that's what I became. You know what I'm saying? What I am now. Over there. And I met this dude named Peppa. You know, he they already had it. And they started packing everybody up. And when I got there, there was only two left. Peppa and this dude named Easy. They was the only K's around, you know what I'm saying, in Orleans. So when I got there, me and Peppa started going tight. So he was from the Bronx, I'm from the Bronx. He knows people that I know, and the next thing you know, we open it up again in Collins. Now, nah, excuse me, in Orleans. But yo, like I said, the commissary upstate, son, there's no comparison to Rikers Island, B. I mean, at all. At all. Yo, I, was, I used to buy two fucking crates of soda. Every kind of soda, Coca Cola, Root Beer, Pepsi. Not Pepsi, Coca-Cola, that was my thing. Coca-Cola, root beer, 7-Up, uh, Sprite. Yo, son, two cases I to buy. You know how much was the fucking soda, bro? 30, no, at that time it was 28, 23 cents. 23 fucking cents for a can of soda. Uh, when I went to, to, to Collins, that was 30 cents. And, and they stood at 30 cents when I came home. And all the parole violations, I did four parole violations straight. And the sodas were still 30 cents. And they give you five cents. You know what I'm saying? That little five cents shit. So if you save your cans, you take your man niggas in, 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 in jail. That's how they live. They tell you about, yo, man, can you give me a can? Can you give me a can? So they pick up cans. They collect cans. They boys give them the cans. So the next thing you know, nigga got like four or five dollars in cans. You feel me? Four or five dollars is not bad. But, yo, if you go by, uh, the limit is, if I, if I remember right, the limit is $72. That's the limit. That's the most you could buy. I done it. And let me tell you, son, I needed help. I had to pick this fucking, how you call it? Uh, it's a sack. It's a sack. It's a potato sack. You know, the potatoes, the onions, that big green sack. I used to get those shits. And I used to take it to commissary, you know, because they used to throw them out. But a lot of people put me up on that. Yo, save your shit. So I saved it. Man, the first time I went to the store, I spent, I spent $40. Like I said, $40 was the limit. If I remember, yeah, I think, yeah, it was $40. 40 dollars 40 40 50 60 70 yeah, 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 yeah. It, it was, no, $72 the limit. $72 is the limit. Now, if you want to buy stamps, you can go up to 100 But it's only $72 worth of food. And if you want to spend 100 you got to spend the rest of that of uh, that $72. You got your food, and then you spend a couple of dollars on the stamp. So if you want to spend 100 you already know. You spend like uh 72 you spend like twenty something dollars in stamps. That will hold you down. Trust me. You need stamps. Uh, yo, like I said, man, I bought everything I needed. I, I niggas was telling me about Jack Mac. I bought Jack Mac. Jack Mac is a can of, of fish that you clean it up and you fry it. Yo, and I'm like, how the fuck we gonna cook this shit? I didn't know about this, son. So niggas had the coffee pot. It's a coffee pot that it used to warm up so fucking good that people used to use it to cook. I'm serious. 
People used to use their coffee pot to cook, you know? So I had my, my in the, in the where, where I was at, in the bed, where I was at is your little cube. You got a little, little cube, your bed, your little bureau, your little shit where you can sit down, your chair, you got a chair, you got a bureau where you can write letters, you got, I mean, like I said, man, it's night and day, man. Yo, upstate is like, I don't know, man. I'm talking about that shit like this shit is beautiful. But son, next to Vikings Island, it's a fucking hotel, babe. I'm talking the five-star hotel. Yo, the commissary. You know what it is, man, that you, you spent $72 in commissary and you got fucking two big fucking bags full of... I used to put one bag of canned goods. The soda, the spam... The beans, the calamari, the octopus, oh man, the can, the, the 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 corn, the potatoes, yo son, peas, yo uh, uh yo they sell mad shit. The sodas, everything, one bag was all cans. I always used to pay somebody to take that bag for me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, kid. I had to give a nigga two honey buns. And they to carry my shit to my house. You feel me? Two honey bun speaks, bro. Trust me. Oh man, let me tell you, they to buy the, the Debbies. Oh my God, kid. Yo, I had man. Let me put you like this, my brother. Thank God, thank God that I was fortunate that my wife was working and she could have took care of me. So this is what she 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 used to do. Once I finished paying my, my surcharge, my sur back in that time, surcharge was 150. Now, I hit like 300, 400, 500. Yo, that shit is crazy, son. Especially if you're not getting no money. Oh my God. If you're not getting no money, kid, you are fucked. So if you get paid, if you go to school or you work, whatever the fuck you do, they take half of your pay. So if you get paid seventeen dollars a week, you're all you're getting is seven fifty. The other seven fifty is going to the fucking surcharge. That's why when you got when you go to state and your family sends you money, you know, if you get twenty dollars, ten dollars stay with them. You get fifty dollars, twenty five is yours. So I make sure I pay my shit because I told wifey and my man, I said, yo, send me fifty dollars. I told wifey, baby, send me $50. I told my other man, yo, send me $50. Four people sent me $50. So out of that $50, I paid 100 And I made 100 for commissary. But I was, I, no, that day I was not smart because I spent everything. I was starving, kid. Believe me, I didn't have no, no food, no soul, no, no nothing. Because now they don't let you take shit. When you're in the island, they don't let you take no soap, no nothing, kid. So, nigga like me, I refuse to take a bath for motherfucking um, state soap. Hell no. So, you know, like I said, if you got family sending you a little money, or if you got a hustle game, like if you know how to draw, you make money. If you know how to cut hair, you making money. I'm telling you, they got trades, they got shit, bro, that you can do. You can't even open up a store. I opened up a store. For, for two months I was dead. Yo, son, put it to you like this. When I left that house, I left that house with a lock of food, of food, cigarettes. I, the only thing I took with me was my letters, my pictures. Uh, what else? My letters, my pictures. I, I left everything behind, son. I gave it to, to one, one, one of my boys, one of my bro bros. I gave him mostly everything. I gave him the whole fucking locker. Talking about it was packed. And then I had some other shit in his locker. I mean, the both lockers was packed and there was my shit. The, my man, my bro, he's not getting no visits, so he was doing bad until I left. You understand what I'm saying? I gave him everything. And I told him, make a store. Make a store. You got everything, but you got two lockers full of food. Make a store. And I seen this kid like about 10 years back. 
And yo, that nigga told me for two years while he was in college, he lived lovely because of what I gave him. That, those two lockers full of food hold them down for two fucking years. He was not getting no money, but he had the store. You feel me? One for two. I give you a bag of soup, you give me two. I give you a soap, you give me two. I give you a pack of cookies, you give me two. I give you rice, you give me two. You understand what I'm saying? So he had, he saw that I had my store, and by the time I left me, like I said, man, I had crazy packs of, of rice, Kool-Aid, oh man, sodas. I mean, like I said, Bobby, yo, this kid got lucky, and he was, like I said, he was a bro, so everything goes to him. The only thing that I didn't get the bro was the Walkman. The Walkman, I gave it to this other kid that didn't have nothing. It was a black kid, excuse me, he didn't have a motherfucking thing. So I gave him the radio, man, because, you know, I used to have him sometimes. He just leave right across from me, and I used to have him singing. And now I'm like, damn, nigga don't even got a walk, man, and he's singing. You know what I'm saying? So I gave him my walk, man, man, you know what I'm saying? And it was brand new. I just bought it, brand new. I gave it to him. Motherfucking man, his tears started coming down, bro. And I gave him some food on the side, too. I gave my bro the two lockers, but I took out some stuff and I gave it to that kid. So, all my soaps, I gave it to that kid. Fuck the bro, the bro already had his shit and he, he been there for a while, so he got his stuff. You feel I me? Mean? So now, yo, like I said, man, it's like night and day. Big fucking difference, bro. Big fucking difference, upstate and Rikers Island. Anyway, yo, this is me, your boy, K Solo, bringing that out. Like I said, you already know. And yo, and like I said, stay strong. If you got a bid to do, I don't, I don't mind you guys hollering at me. Holler at me. Holler at me. And request to become my friend on Facebook. On Facebook, become my friend like that. We can chat on Messenger. You feel me? For those that, that, that are really curious, those that is gonna do a bid, I have no problem to school you. That's what I'm here for, to school you, all right? Anyway, look, I'm about to break out. I'm gonna do another video later tonight, but it's not gonna be about jail. It's gonna be about certain things that's happening on right now in this world that's getting me tight, all right? Listen, this is your boy, K Solo, saying thank you for watching Rikers Island Stories Jailbreak. I really appreciate it. Still making it number one. Make it number one. Number one. Number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. And for those people out there that was worried about me yesterday, they saw my my face was hot, sweating. Yo, I got my air con right now. It's, it's hitting me right there. Hold up. Hold up. Look at this. I got the remote control for the air con. That shit is blasting. I got that shit blasting. All right? Anyway, thank you guys, and keep looking at my things, you heard? Um, like I said, I take requests. Anybody want to know anything, let me know. Uh, you know what, you want to hear anybody famous, if I know them, or if I heard of them, I'll let you know. All right? All right? All right. <laughs> let me let you guys go, man. Holla at your boy, K-Solo. Bye, guys.